Hi, this is Sarah with Lasers and More, and today we're going to do a quick tutorial about putting text around a circle. Now, let's imagine that you've bought this design off of Etsy from someone, and so you don't have the file before all of the welds were created. So the first thing that we want to do is go over to our page setup and make sure that we have the show guides and snap to guides created. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create two circles. The first one is going to be the inside size of the circle for the inner part of the ornament and the second circle will be representative of the outside of the ornament. Let's try creating that circle and I'm going to make that line a lot bolder so it's easier to see. And I'm going to make it as close as possible to the size of the inside of the ornament. I think maybe I forgot to hold shift down while I was creating that circle. So let's try that again. That looks like it's about the right size. Uh, I can zoom in real tight and see how close it is. It's close enough that the human eye will not be able to distinguish if it's not right. So let's make one more circle. We'll do another color that isn't on here yet. And these are just so that we can see things. So the reason that we are making these two circles, this inner one and this outer one, is that this shape, when you try to center something on this shape, because of the ornament hanger up here, you will not be able to center something. So what happens when I try to center these two circles with this shape, you'll see in a second after I group them, a, I select the center and it moves them and that's not right. That's not what we're going for. So we're going to use these two circles as a reference. Let's take the small inner circle and we want to put writing on it. So type your, your words out like you normally would. I'll just say any words. Um, and that's representative for a name or whatever. It doesn't matter what font you're in, doesn't matter any of that stuff. So take your um, So next we want to take the circle out of the middle and we'll take our words here, double click so that you get the drag box, drag the words down to the circle and sometimes it does that and I never understand why um, so I try changing the offset and bringing it back out and then trying to bring it down again sometimes that fixes it sometimes it doesn't um, if it doesn't I just create the words again because there doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason to it. Okay. So again, double click, get your drag box, bring it down, and it worked perfectly this time. So now what we are looking for is there will be a blue, a light blue line that shows up when we are centered. And so that's centered top to bottom. And now we are centered left to right and top to bottom you can see that T well most of a T of light blue lines and that's what we're looking for before we convert it to path if you want your words to be up above because you're going to be engraving them you want to move the words up by using the slider bar and since that circle is the same as the inside of that ornament, anything that dangles below 
will not get engraved because it'll be being cut out. So now we have it so that it is above the bottom of the ornament. I think that font is a little bit too big. So let's reduce it and uh-oh, that makes it so that it's no longer centered anymore. That's okay. Let's look for that T again. And we're not getting the T, but we are getting the left to right centering. And so we'll go with that. Now we can object convert to path. And what that does is, is it releases it from this circle. And now we can bring those both over. Let's group them first. And let's center them left to right inside of the outer circle. Okay, now that they're centered left to right, you can delete your placeholder circles. They're gone. Now you have any words that you want to engrave that are centered. Hope this was helpful. If this video helped you, please hit subscribe if you have questions or comments or even a better way of doing this. Please leave comments down in the comments section. And thanks for watching.